Well, hello all. All right, today, San Francisco, blue skies, uh, no clouds, a little bit of haze, and it's about 52 out. Typical uh, winter's day here in San Francisco, minus the rain. Usually we sort of have rain during the winter, but uh, we got some in December and that's been it. It's shut off. Now the question is, will it turn back on in February and March? That's our second rainy season and uh, get us caught out. What I wanted to talk to you today about was an article I, I listened to on the radio, an international broadcast that was uh, had a program about the uh, upcoming U.S. elections midterm. And they were convinced that the Republicans were going to sweep in both the House and the Senate. So they basically were enforcing something that hasn't happened by saying, oh, it's a done deal, it's, read the writing on the wall, Biden can't get anything done. Um, this is not an ad for the Republicans or the Democrats. This is an, an ad for using our common sense. We went through four years of Trump, and in that time, we had Arnwall back open for drilling and testing. We had many of our national forests and wetlands opened up to drilling and gas companies. We had the oil and gas drilling off the coast, both west and east coast. All the protections, the, a lot of the marine protections being eliminated so that they can go ahead and drill. Now, according to the environmental, what science is telling us is that we have to stop drilling. We have to stop carbonizing. We have to start slowing down our carbonization. And drilling for oil and new gas wells and all that is just, you're just opening yourself up to an absolute disaster. But that is what the Republican Party is about. Oil and gas drilling, giving our national lands and wetlands and dry lands and oceans to the oil and gas company. Or giving our national forest lands to the big forest industries. And then they say, see, how nice the, the uh, economy is. They, and what you're doing is you're speeding up the clock to catastrophe, climate catastrophe, taking away our last sinks of climate so that the carbon can be taken up by these forests and these wetlands. And we're, we're quickly going to turn them back into gas and oil after Biden took it all back off again. This on-off thing, that's not going to do anybody any good. We need to stay at least the same as we are now or get better. And I don't see too many better candidates out there. But I know one thing, if you, I wouldn't put Republicans in. I wouldn't put a single Republican in for nothing. They proved themselves the last four years of Donald Trump and what they did to our national lands. Our, our precious wildlife was filled up with oil derricks and gas derricks and drilling. And, toxic fumes how could how could the people just sit there and let that happen and here they're they're going to be talked into voting republican whether they want to or not you do not need to vote republican i promise you that would only make things worse and how could you get any worse than a catastrophe and just down the road just right down the road it, it's forecast that 2050 is going to be really tough if we don't stop now we have to stop now carbonization. Not tomorrow, not four years from now. About 20 years ago we should have been doing this. So we're about 20 or 30 years too late anyway. But I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't just go and harvest everything out and just kill off the remaining wildlife just so you can make a few dollars. What do you think about that? Um, that's my own thought is you don't need to vote Republican in the midterms. There's nothing that says you have to do that. I appreciate your comments, your ups, your down, your new subscribers, and until next time.